So here I have a link seat and I have my data in data seat 2 and all the totals here has been linked up here just like this. So usually in a glance I do not know which of the data are actually linked from another file. So I can actually find it quite easily. If you were to see the formula here last brackets are being used. So usually you do not have last bracket brackets in Excel so you can easily find it. So I'm going to press Control F it will say find what the find what a menu will pop up and I'm going to uh, search for the last bracket key. All right, so I'm going to search last bracket, find next. You can see that now this is linked from another file. Next, this is linked from another file. This one, find all and everything will be listed out. And you can see that these things are from another file. That means it is dependent on data C2 right there. This one, however, is not. So it is not showing up in the find window. But right now, uh, sometimes what you want to know is you want to see if something is dependent on something. For example, this formula is actually a sum of A2 to D2. So it's A2 to D2 and it's a sum. So if I want to see if this, um, this uh, formula is dependent by somebody, so you can sum some data right here, then you can actually go into formula and click trace dependent. So if you were to see it, now you can see that this formula right here is dependent on all these four. So you can see that now I can actually do that. Trace uh, presentments are something like it actually shows up uh, the file right here. So you can see that if I were to trace precedence, you can see that now uh, this actually say, says that it is dependent on this Excel file right here. So all of the, these data are from a different Excel file. So you can see all of these just like that. So I can remove arrows right here. Simply click here, trace precedence, and you can see that now uh, the dependent data are being shown just like that. So go here, trace precedent. You can see that now it is linked to an Excel right here. So now uh, it is easier to actually just see uh, where the data comes comes from with this and gives a visual representation for you. So I'm going to go over here and if I change the form, uh, change something, for example, change a value, let's buff this up a bit. So if I've changed this value, it is higher. So this is actually minus. So savings goes to minus over here. Now, if I were to go back over here, you can see that this has been updated right there. Now, what I can also do is, let's say, I make um, I actually close this and then uh, reopen it later after making the changes but before that I can actually set up something over here so now before I save it um, save it for future use I can actually go to data right here I can do something called edit links so let's just click edit links right here and you can see that my link is uh, in this data c2 right here so I can do something like a startup prompt all right, so if I were to choose, let users choose to display the alert or not, then if the files, uh, the file data from other file has been changed, then whenever I open this file up, then it'll ask me whether you want to update the data or not. So I'm just, sim just simply going to select the first option right here, because that's the option that we want. And I'm going to close this. I'm going to save this by pressing Control S, and I'm going to close this out as well. So over here, now I'm going to make, make some changes. So let's say for example, here, I'm just going to say 200. So it goes back up. I'm going to save this and I'm going to close this data right down. So now I'm going to open data seat one. I'm going to open that up. It'll open up the software. So now you can see that this dialog box actually uh, comes up. So this workbook contains link to one or more external sources, as you can see. So now, if I because I know it is on the same folder, I can simply press update without worrying. So update, and there you go. The data, as you can see, has updated even uh, even though the other file is closed down. So that is how you can link. Um, uh, you can maintain links and locate links inside of Microsoft Excel. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.